Hello and welcome back to the county of New Bobden. And on this episode, what we're going to be doing is we kind of need the budget to go up. And I mean, we need to like level up, not in like the Tory kind of level up term, but like we need to level up the buildings and bring in more income and revenue from this top bit before fully taking out this bottom bit. Because I feel if we take out the bottom of what was old New Badgerton, then it might go a little bit pear-shaped. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in public transport, give the, give the old ticker a rest, bring in a positive uh, budget, a surplus, if you will, a surplus of the budget, and bring in some public transport services so we can make a little more cashish going on here. So let's get a crack -a lacking with that. Okay, right, so first things first, we're gonna bring a tram line in number one. So let's crack on over to the tram. And let's go, just do a very basic little square at the top here so they can just turn around. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, let's turn this into a bike lane. Let's get some bikes going across. And, ooh. You know what? We're gonna have the tram lane come down. It's not gonna be a permanent feature, by the way. <gasps> I kind of want the tram to go over the bridge. Yes, let's do that. And across. And that, oh yeah, and the best thing about a monorail is that the tram lines can go underneath. And so that is epicness. And then let's also have this come back across. And it's just gonna hit. Did we already hit? No, did we? Did we not? No, we did not. Okay, right. It's gonna come. Hmm. Bit of a decision time. I only want it going over one bridge. Just let's have a look. What can we bring in? That's nice. There we go. Just a little bit of mix up on the road there. There we go. It's all nicely connected. That's all now plumbed in. And where's the road we're using? This one. Pause the game a second, and we're just going to get rid of this road. And oh, yeah, there's a nice way of connecting that up. Let's bring this straight down. And let's reconnect that road with a tram line. Curve tool. That will do for now. Wonderful. And up, oh, wait, hold on. That's all good. Come back here for the other tram line link and you know what we're gonna have it come in here and then we're just gonna neaten up that road there we go that's our tram in so let's continue to play all the cars and everything just jumped there that was brilliant lovely to see and let's pop our tram line in shall we we're gonna expand down this way just bringing in more people just gonna stop at every top of the block before the bridge after the bridge Stop at this block. Now it's very important it stops at these schools and stuff like that, just because this is going to be a main hub area. So very good to get coverage around here. There we go. We can see they're all very happy, and most of them are now upgrading. Hmm. I see what I've done wrong here. Okay, new plan. I'm going to return that road to what it was. Gonna turn this other road to what it was. And yeah, the trams are gonna go over these two bridges for now. Just for now. Because we need it to turn around somewhere. There we go, it's gonna be here, why not? There we go, so we've got a loop looping junction here, which it makes sense because this is kind of the park area. So there you go, before the bridge, after the bridge. And around into this area. There we go. Now it's going to come back. And let's start jostling them. There's a lot of people waiting for a, a tram already. Like a lot. But there's also a lot of upgrading, which is really good going on. So just got to do this little bit. And there we go. Connected. We might want to build some kind of tram connection over here just so those guys don't have to go all the way around 
at the moment. They're kind of doing something funky. Okay, we're going. We're going rogue. We're just doing a doing a little spiel. Just doing a little cut off here. There we go. So they should. Might have to encourage this. Let's add a random stop here, just so they it has to go that way. There you go. So we saved it having to go all the way around this loop and causing a big old drama. Now I'm not going to put a monorail in because that's just going to cause extra pressure on the system, which we do not want. As you can see, our income has already gone up. We've done nothing but put a tram line in. And here we go. We're going to bring in the buses as well, just to cope and bring in like a few more services. Let's go to the bus lane. The worst thing about this view is that you suddenly can't see which roads have got bus lanes. Now, I know this is a bus lane road, so it's cool to come down here. And then these are just going to transport people literally every two stops. I think I might just bring one big one in just for the time being. Don't know why you can't just turn right there, but okay. Whatever suits you, pal. Then we're gonna. Hmm. You no, know what? No, we're gonna come down the middle here. That way, we haven't got too many services coming into the same part of the city, and like basically double, double booking themselves. And the idea of the buses is to get people to the tram lines. And we're also going to make them stop here, so in case they want to take the tram, then they can do so, which is nice and easy. And then come down, oh, no, it's too, too close together. You can walk that nice and easy. I mean, you can walk any of this really nice and easy, but that's probably the thing with uh, buses, is that, like, have you taken a London bus recently? I mean, like, it stops everywhere. Like, it's literally 100 yards down the road. It's like, someone could just, they could just walk that. Surely, I don't know, man. London buses, man. That gives me like, just gives me the grapes. Ah, oh, there we go. Boom. This is a big mega city, right? Eleven thousand. The liberal arts college for scholars. We've got crematoriums, which means we're probably gonna have death waves coming up. So we probably should put down some of them straight away. Oh, I do like that though. That it's not on the same path for this road. Might have to look into that road a bit more in the future. There are a ton of people waiting for a tram. Like a ton. Yeah, why not? Businesses need a, a bus, right? Take people to the industry. So there we go. We've got it all hooked up and it's all looking good. Okay, so you see, they've already gone up. They've already started expanding. They've gone up. Oh, they've definitely gone up from the last episode, like most of these now. Yeah, they're on their way, which means they're definitely... Look, see, income's gone up 500 per week from the last check. <coughs> and, of course, we've got to go over here, have a look at our bus lane. You are going to be a London bus. Oh, oh an inner city bendy... Oh, I do like a bendy bus. And... You are, ooh, what, what did we call this area in the end? Did we call this area in the city? Oh no. It's just part of the city, isn't it? Uh, big city bus is what I'm going to go with. Uh, what about the monorail? We didn't actually have a look at that. Like, I think this is definitely not going to be a 90. We need like the biggest capacity one. Let's have a look. There's 140. And yeah, let's go with the 140. No matter how it looks, it's going to be the big city tram. There we go. One vehicle, two vehicle. Let's just have a look, double check. Well, yep, see, people are getting the bus. Good amount of people are getting the bus as well. So let's just have a double click on him. See, look, he's got 53 passengers out of 70. And why is he not moving off? Come on. There we go. See, that would take two normal buses. Or one double-decker, I think. And look how many people there are here. Whoa. Where are they going? 
Why is there so much traffic in that area? Let's have a look. That's why. There we go. Take that off. One hundred and four people. There we go. We're just building up a large enough nest egg for the live stream during the week right now, basically. And we've got a main road, so that's arterial road. Let's build another arterial road going through. Not an arterial road, just a little main street. Oh, we turn back on the guides. All the guides. We need we need the guides. Thank you. Let's have a is there a bicycle one? Let's have a bicycle one. Sounds epicness, but no. Trees with a bike lane, that's the one. Boom. Because this is probably not going to be like a really mainly used street, so we can just gently come across here. This is a little bit more room to play with if we want to place a bigger item down as well. Talking about bigger items, let's have a look. Crematorium. We did have, because we've got to move morbidly, we've got to move bodies and stuff, so we've got to have a crematorium somewhere around here so why not just a little pathway oh is that too morbid to have it near Ugh. not sure I don't want to interrupt the main road but definitely have something sweet like that like it's just a little bit off the beaten track Still looks kind of nice for the families and stuff. Oh, is it three? It's three, isn't it? There you go. Quite like that. But maybe, maybe just a little bit of a different road. <laughs> Something with trees, like, on the outside and stuff. There we go. What are we missing? Industry. People need to work a bit more. Okay. We can do this. I'm just going to pull that back. There we go. Perfect. So the idea is to get rid of this, then bring in a massive kind of industrial area here and bring in a more financial district over here in the long run. Also, what do we do about this dump? Because it's ready to go, and it could be helping clear out some rubbish. Now, we were going to keep this as a park area, weren't we? So we need to move it into a fresh place where it's not going to bother residents. Or oh, maybe. Maybe if we come across here. Oh, but it's close to the motorway, so if we ever need to change the motorway be able to do that. Let's just have a look. No, couldn't put it there anyway. Sorry, that's been a waste. Demolish someone's house, that would be good there. So if we could maybe move you. Pause. Does it really pollute? Does it actually pollute? I didn't realise that. Yeah, that looks like a good home for it. And then if we can just connect it up. There we go, lovely stuff. And I think that's going to be connected. Yep, lovely. Now we can move our rubbish dump to this area. I'm going to move it away from the motorway. Perfect. That should be all good to go. And we can come along here and get rid of all this. Get rid of all the trees as well, wonderful. I sound a bit tired, it's because I ran sorry half marathon today, so that's why I'm a little bit oh. there we go. Come up actually no, we need to put a little bit off, don't we? Just so we don't build on it. So what is that? Is that just a normal road? I don't really want a normal road. Yeah, let's bring the is that a bike lane? I think that's a bike lane. Up there. So yeah, bike lane across. Lovely stuff. Oh wait, what's the train height? Train oh Push you back. There we go. Wonderful. And let's move these two up. 
Uh, let's bring cross. Oh, grids are so boring, aren't they? I don't know. Like, it's, it's every bone in my body is just not liking this. But you know, oh dear, yeah. sorry. There we go. Wonderful. So the monorail is just going to be this really fast connection in between up and down, basically, and just go shoom through the whole of this island space. Through the, um, from the industrial area that we're going to have here, all the way up to like the top of here. Why do these big squares? Why are these squares missing? I don't know, but we should fill them in, shouldn't we? Okay, so how are we doing? We're doing, look, 5,000. We've doubled it. We've doubled it by just putting in a bit of basic public transport. How are we doing on this front? Okay, we need to bring in... Oh, my foot as well. It's got a blister on it. Just, I know you didn't need that image, but there you go anyway. Oh, let's bring in the biggest... Can we bring in the biggest park? No, why can't we bring in the biggest park? It's not good. Big meanie in this game sometimes. There we go. We're gonna double up on each side. Can we bring that road through just a little bit? Oh, that looks absolutely lovely. Genuinely looks lovely. Even though I think we were leaving that so we can like bring it, bring them off or on. I'm not sure. No, we'll bring them off here and bring them on here. Because that way they can, yeah. That so it kind of mirrors the other side. But yeah, I think that would be a good kind of place to end it at the moment. Oh, power, power. What's wrong with power? Right, bring on the power budget. Pull up the power, please. We're expanding. We need more power. Come on. There we go. How are we doing with the whole bus lanes and stuff? Oh, lots of people here. It's already got 70 people on it. Damn. Can you get a bus with more people on it? 16, sucks up. Yep. There's not enough people in here. What is the biggest capacity bus? Let's have a look. Can we can we have a look at your buses, please? Ooh. 80. Super bendy bus. How much does a super bendy bus transport? A hundred, there we go, boom, that solves our problem. I'm kind of impressed by this. I kind of I kind of like it. It needs a little bit more detailing around here, and I don't know. Oh, no one wants to move in. Okay. We have had 13, we've got 13,000 people moving in, though, which is good. I think it's time to specialize. Once we get out of here, and we've got this, like, ordinary type area, we need to start specializing and bringing in a bit more uh, DLC and stuff like that. Just going to bring business in because that's what it wants at the moment. Even though it's going to say not enough goods to sell in a, in a sec, but that is what it wants. That's what it decrees. So, yes. And then we're going to have this a slightly different. All right, let's, let's do this. Okay, we're now in summary. So, that we've really really hyped up the city and really really brought in a bit more and you can see they're like already like flocking in all those businesses are just flocking in right now and you can see that this is just looking a bit out of shape this is this shouldn't be here really so on the live stream once we built up our funds a bit we're gonna absolutely demolish this old town because we don't need it anymore we can get rid of this because this section is now making way more than enough money and then we're going to move on to our plans for here, here, and everywhere. we're going to make this, you know, this, our industrial area over here. We're going to make this into our financial quarter. And just basically redesign the whole thing. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's going to be a, a very panicky live stream, probably, because we're going to bring in this motorway connection through here and connect it up as well. So that's going to be, that's going to be a fun one to be bringing through and just, basically I'm trying to challenge my skills on the live stream so therefore 
of like not panicking so much. But until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Joy be with you all. I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like, subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. I've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.